Property eradication efforts being called a real success for the giant African land snail here in South Florida. It's only the second time in history this has happened to this invasive pest. Local 10 News reporter Syrah Onwar is in Miami with the update. We talk about pythons and iguanas here in Florida all the time, but you may not have heard of another invasive species. It's the giant African land snail, and thanks to a massive effort, you may never see one. It's a big day in our fight, I get this not, never ending fight against invasive species. So this is one we want. We're saying goodbye to this unwelcome pest in South Florida, the giant African land snail. The news announced in an event with Florida Ag Commissioner Nikki Freed. The eradication of this highly invasive agriculture pest was vitally important to protecting Florida's nearly $150 billion agriculture industry. The giant African land snail was first found in Miami in 2011. This is only the second time in history these pests have been eradicated and hopefully they don't come back. Without eradication, the giant African snail could have resulted in major export and trade implications from our growers already struggling. To there was also such a big effort to get rid of them because these snails damage structures by eating stucco and they can hurt people and pets by carrying a parasite that causes meningitis. The science dictated our decisions. Seven years and a million dollars later, the eradication was a success using scientific data tracking, more than 5,000 canine surveys, and nearly 800,000 man hours. But while the snail is considered eradicated, it could come back. We must stay vigilant when it comes to the smuggling of invasive pests and species into our state. Now they are asking for the public's help to make sure this is something we never have to battle again. That is the latest from Coral Gables, Syrah Onwar, Local 10 News.